The news at 11 starts now. And it starts with calls for change. Montgomery County residents want more transparency when it comes to police involved shooting investigations. Good evening, I'm Leslie Foster. Right now, if a Montgomery County officer is involved in a shooting, the county police force handles the investigation, but a new bill would change that. I asked John Henry to find out more at a council meeting tonight. Montgomery County has a special relationship with Howard County so that after an officer involved death, Montgomery's investigation is turned over to the Howard State's attorney to see if any wrongdoing occurred. You may remember that state's attorney in Howard cleared the Montgomery officer involved in the shooting death of Robert White, an unarmed black man who was killed in a Silver Spring parking lot last summer. That decision still pains White's family and friends. But I want everybody to take three seconds to think about your loved ones and then think about them not being here because that's what I deal with every day. That's part of the reason why they came out tonight to speak in favor of a proposal that would require at least two independent investigators from outside agencies to examine any fatal case involving a Montgomery County officer. It's just no longer acceptable, never was, to have the entity involved in the death of the resident to be investigating itself. So just not a good practice. Councilman Will Juwando adds this bill would require an investigative report of a fatal incident be made public. Montgomery's police chief said he does not oppose an outside investigation but he's worried about some of the bill's legalities and how agencies will collaborate at incident scenes. What, what I can't have as the chief of police in this county is um, a, a response time that leaves a victim, a body in the street for hours waiting for someone from another jurisdiction to get there. A similar bill is working its way through the Maryland State House. John Henry, WUSA 9.